was here during the actual flooding event. What we did have is an ice jam about 25 miles downriver at Bishop Rock that built a lot of water that worked its way backwards from that jam and that caused water to spill over its banks and flood literally the entire area except for this area that we're standing on right now. Okay, during the winter we were lining up the repairs that were required, the number of home kits that needed to be ordered, lining up the volunteer agencies that would be doing the repairs and rebuilds, planning, phasing the entire operation so that we can be completed within 100 days. 100 days may seem like a long time, but in Alaska, every day is precious in the summer. If that barge is late a day or two, it really will push that 100 days back into a very, very short time frame. Our commitment is to rebuild the homes for the survivors of this disaster this summer. Every day counts, every hour counts, and the logistical challenges of construction and transportation in Alaska means that we really have to be flexible and nimble to support the volunteers that are doing this rebuilding effort for us. I'm here with Samaritan's Purse, volunteers from all over the country. We're working together to build homes, to uh, provide a safe place for families who lost their homes in the flood. I feel uh, fulfilled and happy to be able to serve. The volunteers, I don't think we could actually do it without them. I mean, surely we could hire contractors, which would cost a, a lot more money. But these men and women, uh, they want to be here. They volunteered to be here. And they are experts at construction and management of projects. Uh, each group has their own ideas of how they want things done. They know the materials that need to be done. And I think they, they are very proud craftsmen, men and women, that are able to help build homes, repair homes. They put their own little extra touches on it. We saw a house today that had a deck that they had some special flare work done on it to make it look nicer. And they're very dedicated. They generally spend about two weeks here. Uh, and then they go back to their families, uh, usually in the lower 48 uh, states. And uh, I think they're, you know, their heart is in it. Uh, it. It's a very important piece that they give back.